For the past two days, Channel 2's Jacob Rascon has been following a migrant caravan as the group presses forward trying to get to the U.S.-Mexico border. Many in the group unsure if they'll gain entry to the United States. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the organization of the caravan and the groups who are helping the migrants. Jacob is in Uchitan, Zaragoza, in Oaxaca, Mexico. He's joining us live with the story. Jacob? Bill, it started with three guys in Honduras with an idea to bring attention to the troubles in Honduras. They thought maybe they'd get 300 people or so. And then the idea took off on social media and exploded into something that is so big there is no one leader or organizer. The president calls the caravan an invasion. The migrants call themselves an exodus. First come, first served on empty trailers like this one. Thousands of children have no choice. Organized chaos everywhere you look. They are desperate not to walk. Thousands of them line up to hitch rides. And in this case, the buses were provided by the local government, the president of the Mexican municipality. There are now three migrant caravans headed to the United States. Migrants don't seem to care what the president says. He can do whatever he wants, but the thing is, we, go, we are going to over there. You're going there no matter what? No matter what. The massive group forced its way into Honduras and Mexico. And then maybe we can do it over there. Maybe we can do the same thing at the U.S. border, Herman Carlos says. They survive on donations. Trucks filled with shoes and clothes. And in the back of the caravan, the last two walkers, brothers Omar and Oscar Flores, headed to Houston, filled with hope. So a lot of the immigrants unaware of the political realities on the ground in the United States and what President Trump is talking about. We have talked to a group here, Pueblo Sin Fronteras, that is helping to organize and educate the folks here about the asylum laws in the United States. They don't want to talk on camera, but they are helping to organize the meetings for this migrant caravan. And they say they are a nonprofit and volunteers who receive a lot of anonymous donations, but no one major funder. Reporting live from Yuchitan, Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News.